Hey everyone! One of the things I miss most about traveling is going out and trying new food. So I was thinking it would be cool if for each country that I've been to, I attempt to make a local dish and then share it with you guys. Okay, so the video that you're watching up here was actually the first video that I ever recorded. I had to pre-record it because I made the mistake of buying the papaya too early. I was supposed to have launched the blog already, but of course I fell behind schedule. But at that point, I already bought the papaya, so I had to proceed with the video. And that day, I honestly, it was my first time ever even messing with trying to record a video. And I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to, you know, like... Have the camera ready and just start jabbering on as usual um but then the camera starts rolling and then i'm like <laughs> yeah literally like they're in headlights um so if you're wondering why i look like a stick in the mud that's why so i was debating back and forth whether or not i wanted to re-record this video but i decided to just show you guys the real deal now you know okay back to the video the first country i'm going to tackle is laos Luckily, my parents are from there, so I'm familiar with Lao cuisine. A popular dish is papaya salad, and that's what I'll be making today. And my parents have actually shown me how to make it, but I've never done it firsthand because someone else is always doing it. So this is going to be the first time I ever make it. All right, so let's go to the kitchen and wish me luck. So these are the ingredients I'll be using today. As far as measurements go, it really depends on your taste, so you can adjust it to your liking. So what I'll be using today is one green papaya, one teaspoon of sugar, one lime, two garlic cloves, one red chili pepper, a handful of peanuts, cherry tomatoes, and pork cracklings, and about two teaspoons of fish sauce. Okay, so let's prepare our vegetables. Um, so first thing we want to do is for the papaya, you want to cut the edges off like this and kind of rub it because apparently this helps make it not bitter just like rub the edges like this and then do the same for the other side okay and then now we're going to peel the papaya so let's see Ooh. so this is actually my first time peeling green papaya which is why I am definitely not doing this as seamless as I should be. Oh gosh. Alright, and now I'm just gonna cut off these little nasty looking things. Um, so like that. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. Good to go. Okay, so I just rinsed off the melon and also the tray. Now we can start peeling it to shreds, like so. I'm not going to use the whole papaya because I'm just making a smaller portion. So let's see, probably about two handfuls, I'd say. Gosh, I'm losing my melon. Okay, so probably could be holding this in a more efficient way. As you guys can see, this is definitely my first video doing this. Wow, this is like a arm workout. Goodness. <laughs> This is the right portions, I think. Yeah, so this would be a good amount. Okay, now we'll cut the cherry tomatoes. So first, let's cut off the ends. I'm gonna toss that. We're just gonna cut this into threes. So like this. Okay, so here comes the fun part. We'll be mixing all the ingredients together using this, which I just discovered is called a uh, mortar and pesto. Never knew what it was called in English until today. Okay, so we're essentially going to just mix everything in this and start 
compounding the flavors how did they mix and blend well together um so first we're going to put the garlic so the garlic cloves toss that in there and then i guess the peanuts Ooh. and the red chili pepper and take the stem off toss that in there and then also the pork cracklings like that and then you just start grinding away like this just until everything kind of mixes together I'm not sure if i'm doing this properly because this like i said it's my first time but we'll see if it tastes good it's kind of fun try not to like bounce these things out I'm just gonna keep doing this until it's crushed. It's pretty good stress reliever. You can just pound your issues away. <laughs> okay, this garlic is being stubborn. But okay, you get the idea. I'd say that's pretty well blended there. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. We're just gonna add the papaya in. So like that. Just throw it all in there. And pretty much everything else. I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in there. As well as the lime. Let's use the lime in. Ooh. Okay, and the sugar. And two about uh, say about two teaspoons. Well, I'm gonna use this spoon, but about two tea about two spoons. I'd say it in about two teaspoons, maybe, of the fish sauce. All right, and let's just start. Continue to blend these together. I'll try not to get tomato sauce everywhere. This is quite the workout if you ask me. Get your arm muscles up. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. Continue to bring the bottom to the top like this so that the flavors blend better. Okay, I think that's finished. I don't want to overdo it. Might be smushed. Okay, I think that's finished. Okay, so let's transfer this into a bowl. Alright, guys, moment of truth. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, first bite. Smelling good. <laughs> Smells like the flavors are there, so let's see. I think I did my parents proud. Oh, it's spicy. Okay, so there's definitely heat in there. I might have put too much red chili peppers. So if you guys aren't really into spicy, probably should cut that down.
all right so i'm done um if any of you guys decide to try out this recipe do let me know in the comments below how it turned out if you guys liked it or not all right see you in the next video bye